हेलो गाइस व्हाट्सअप आई डूइंग एंड आज के कॉलेज में अबर एक टप्पू सो गाइस यू रिमेम्बर दैट वी हैड अर फेस्ट दैट इस रेसिडेंशियल फुल साइड ट्रेनिंग तो आज के शेखानी एक्टर सेट ऑन द टॉपिक ऑफ अ सेमिनार इज डिसेमिनेशन सेमिनार ऑन लेवल ऑफ अवेयरनेस अबाउट नॉन कम्युनिकेबल डिजीजेस अमंग द सेकेंडरी स्कूल गोइंग चिल्ड्रन फ्रॉम क्लास एट टू टेन एंड इट्स अ क्रॉस सेक्शनल मिक्स्ड अप्रोच ऑफ स्टडी सो और बेसिक इस चीज़ को हम बोलते हैं सॉफ्टवेयर गोइंग टू द सेमिनार यू विल गेट टू नो वेलकम <laughs> Children are the future of our nation. 
Now coming to the key word. What are non-communicable diseases? Non-communicable diseases are the diseases that are not transmissible from one person to another. Rather, they occur due to specific risk factors. The example of non-communicable diseases are diabetes mellitus, hypertension, stroke, cancer, etc. And the known risk factors are smoking, obesity, sedentary lifestyle, etc. The most dangerous part here is most of the cases go undiagnosed until they are fatal due to having lack of knowledge about this. Although the people of urban area have more or less idea about this, our aim was to see the level of knowledge of the young children of those areas on non communicable diseases. During the whole protocol development, we had a set of questionnaire prepared, which was our data collection instrument. And we went to the study phase, collected the data under the supervision of a local guide and our teachers. We came back to the college, completed our data analysis and data interpretation. And now to show you the data analysis and interpretation, our speakers will come over to the stage. I would like to introduce Zelia M.M. Hawk as our today's chairperson, Hafi Wafez as the first speaker, C.N. Laina Morrow as the second speaker, and last but not the least, Trisha Mirola as our third speaker. It's a place to welcome you all. Uh, at the very outset, I'm very happy to deliver the welcome speech. Uh, Today, uh, our students are going to disseminate their survey findings uh, as well as their activities during day visit and study tour events. Uh, in this advocacy program, our students uh, usually conduct a survey based on various um, current public health pro problems or issues. And, and then they will be able to so able to accustom with the environment and the lifestyle of the rural people. And uh, they will also able to uh, accustom with uh, the healthcare delivery system of our country at the primary healthcare level, uh, especially from Pujala downwards. Uh, keeping those objectives in mind, our students are from multidisciplinary academic activities uh, yeah, in order to uh, gather uh, various skills and attitude in addition to gathering knowledge as well. In doing so, we are very much grateful to our uh, authority and open supporting staff uh, for making this event a very, very successful one. Thank you all and welcome you once again. All the respected faculty members and my dear friends, Assalamu alaikum. I am Zibir Naman Hawk, third year student of Batch 10 of Anwarkhan Modern Medical College. As the chairperson we gathered here today to rejoice and appreciate the considerable amount of hard work that was put in by each and every student of our batch. I announce with great pride and immense pleasure that none of this would have been possible without the constant support and guidance provided by our very own Professor Dr. Makuzur Rahman sir and the unparalleled assistance and enlightenment provided by our head of the Department of Community Medicine, Associate Professor Dr. Amir Rahman sir and all our respected teachers as well. Our topic of discussion for today is about the level of awareness about non-communicable diseases among the secondary school children. I'm sure that our moderator, Shoni Ahmed, has adequately explained the importance of selecting such a timely topic using app statistics. Now, I would like to talk about how we developed our survey protocol. Our survey protocol was developed through various in-house activities. This comprised mainly of three portions. The first portion included the selection of our title. The title was selected mainly by the students through vivid discussion. We worked in groups to select a title which was suitable and feasible to our objective. But our title selection was guided by our teachers as well. The second part of the protocol development was about the setting the different objectives. This included the general objectives and the specific objectives. And the final step of protocol development was setting up the methodology of our study. This will be elaborated on by our first speaker of the day, Hasima. We will try our best to present these survey findings sincerely, and I hope that you will find the seminar both informative and enjoyable. Now, without further ado, I would like to call upon stage our first speaker of the day, Hasim Ahmed, to deliver his speech. Thank you for your patience. Thank you, Professor Ahmed. Thank you, Chairperson Zindian, for granting me the floor. Honorable Principal, sir, Executive, Executive Director, sir, the faculty members, my beloved seniors and my dear friends. Assalamu alaikum and a very good afternoon. My name is Hasim Ahmed Proti, a third year medical student of Anwarkar Modern Medical Bachelor. Today in this presentation we will be presenting 
starting title, objective, variables, methodology, which will be presented by me as the first speaker. Secondly, the study findings, and only some of the important findings which are not to be mentioned are the mean age being 14.1 years of standard deviation plus minus 1.66. The BMI of the respondents, where we have seen that 49% of them were normal and 8% of them were staring to obese. And last but not least, the level of knowledge of NCDs, their risk factors, their complications, and the attitude of the respondents towards prevention was very much positive. And this will be further described in detail by the second speaker, Sinan and Amar. Last of all, the conclusions, recommendations, and our views on our testes. That will be some of the photos of us during the study. study, study. Our chairperson has beautifully described on why this title was selected and how this survey sort of protocol was developed. And on this concerning topic, we have conducted the survey in the terms of non communicable diseases among the secondary school children of Thamra Vajana. During the development of this survey protocol, we have learned how to set the objectives from this research question. So, starting with there are two types of objectives. Number one, the general objective, which is a general statement or a single statement which states about the goal of our survey. It can be also termed as a goal-oriented statement. And the general objective for our survey was to describe the level of awareness where we have specifically seen the knowledge and attitude of the respondents about the non-communicable diseases. On the other hand, specific objectives. These are action-oriented statements which reflects what we have to do to achieve our goals. It can be called a part of the survey protocol. It starts with an action verb like find out to determine. And there is a there is a variable under the study hidden within the specific objectives. Like you can see, the social demographic characteristics, the level of knowledge, the family history, etc. These specific objectives help us set the variables and it can be also called the basis of our questionnaire development. Next, I would like to invite on stage our second speaker of the day, CM Lainan Thank you. Honorable Principal Sir, distinguished Executive Director Sir, my respected teachers and my dear friends, Assalamu alaikum. My name is Sia Lainan Mauro, a third year and the student of AMC Batch 10. I stand before you here today to talk about the study findings regarding the RFSD program that was conducted. Findings on social demographic characteristics. Here is the table showing us the distribution of the respondents by the name of the study place. We have gone to certain places to conduct the interview and about 92% of the respondents were from Islampur, Kumrai, Kakosipala and the remaining 8% were from other villages. This table shows us the distribution of the respondents by age. We have classified the age as 11 to 12, 13 to 14 and more than 15. And 54% of the respondents were more than 15 years in age. The mean age being 14.1 years and standard deviation being plus minus 1.66. This is a diagram showing us the distribution of the respondents by sex. We can see that relatively there is an equal amount of male and female respondents. With sex there is a high a high percentage of the male respondents. Here is a bar diagram showing us the distribution of the respondents by religion. It shows us the distribution of the respondents by their parents' occupation. 70% of the respondents' parents' occupation were from services. Remaining 30% were from agriculture, day labor, business, etc. The level of knowledge regarding NCDs and their risk factors. 48, 49, and 58 percent of them agreed that hypertension, diabetes, colitis, and stroke were diseases of the NCT group. Whereas 7 percent of them disagree. The level of awareness about NCT complications, we can see that about 30 to 50 percent of them agreed that stroke, heart disease, kidney disease, um, they were aware about these complications. Whereas 12, 6, and 14 percent of them disagree. Honorable Principal Sir, Distinguished Executive Director Sir, all the respectable teachers and fellow classmates and my fellow classmates, Aslam Walik. I'm Shrisha Nirola, a third year medical student, batch tech from Honor Khan Modern Medical College. Today, I'm very happy and thankful to everyone who has given me this golden opportunity to express our conclusions, recommendations and views to you on the topic about level of awareness regarding uncommunicable diseases among the secondary school women children. And from our survey, we came to the conclusion that the level of awareness regarding uncommunicable diseases, their risk factors and complications were much more higher among secondary school women children. 
And we were amazed about how most of the respondents were concerned over various complications of anxieties like stroke, ischemic heart disease, and kidney disease. <coughs> like many other developing countries, in Bangladesh also, anxieties are emerging as a major cause of morbidity and mortality, accounting for 60% of death and 46% of global burden of disease. So, in response to this emergency trends, we have designed and introduced some innovative initiatives like regular screening for early diagnosis and treatment of anxieties, including the risk factors by improved active surveillance among the secondary school with adolescents. Preventing and reducing the morbidity and mortality from anxieties may be vital to achieve the sustainable development goal. And in our views, the goals may be achieved by including the anxieties related topics in the textbook of the children to make them much more aware from the early stage of their life. And further, large discuss that the study is also needed to formulate policies in regards to prevent anxieties, including risk factors and complications. As lack of physical exercise is one of the major risk factors for anxieties, so regular physical exercise must be encouraged among the school with adolescents. And simultaneously, various government and private organizations should come forward to ensure the gym facilities. And nutritionally healthy locally available food should be made promoted and be available as per the age. Now, I'd like to sum up our presentation by saying that small acts will multiply the millions of people can transform the world. Thank you for being here. Now, I'd like to hand over on my to our chairperson. Questions. Uh, the first question I would like to draw is uh, this is from Professor Mohammad Shuhail Bashir sir. He's the head of the Department of Community Medicine from Pro Popular Medical College. Um, his question is uh, Where have you conducted the pre testing of the questionnaire? Thank you, sir, for your question. This is a really nice question. And I would like our first speaker of the day, Hasib Ahmed, to answer this question. Salam sir. Uh, thank you for the brilliant question of clarification. Uh, this topic needed, needed some clarification. Uh, sir, ideally, the ideal practice for pre-testing a questionnaire is uh, taking interviews of the questionnaire in an area other than the survey area. So, but due to time constraint, we have to perform this pre-testing in our classroom environment, where some of us uh, acted as an interviewer and some of us acted as the respondent. Sir, so, uh, thank you so much for this question, sir. Question. Uh, this question is from uh, Professor Edeshamul Amak, uh, head of the Department of Oncology and Northern Modern Medical College. Um, his question is to the second speaker. What may be the cause of normal BMI of this population that we have tested? Uh, this is a really nice question and I would like our second speaker, CM Naila Mauro, to answer this. Thank you. Thank you so much for the question. Uh, the question was, uh, what, was, what can be the cause of normal BMI among the population? So, uh, according to me, I think so because most of the students and the people now are very health conscious and also uh, gym facilities are available. But uh, in, uh, we went to Dhamarai, so there we couldn't see any gym facilities, but <clears throat> most of the people were very um, physically active. Thank you. Let me answer this question. And thank you, Tariq, for your nice question. Well, uh, focus group discussion is a free, spontaneous, and highly interactive and in-depth discussion in a group with focus on certain topics. So we conducted a FG, that is a focus group discussion on Dhamdai Upajala and it was basically on the level of awareness on non-communicable diseases and it consisted of about 10 to 15 people and uh, it continued for about half an hour and uh, we basically interacted and discussed with them on their level of awareness on how much they know about this non-communicable disease. And that, that was basically what we talked about and it was moderated by a moderator and facilitated by a facilitator and it was recorded by a record keeper. So that is basically how we conducted our focus group discussion and thank you for your question. Shadow play, I got your eyes. 
I must thank the Trinity students who actually take all the pain for actually completing such a beautiful study and also the department for taking up this topic for studying the community. Thank you very much. Uh, ask any colorful presentation ceremony, very smart chairperson, excellent presenters, and very brilliant and attractive anchor. It's even the report parts. So, the limited J facilities, limited J scope, here, both the data are in a I mean, both the data. माने हाईली कमेंटेबल एवं हाईली अप्रिशिएबल तो आमी आमी आमदेरी बच्चे दे माने खूबी कुछ उनसे बोली थी हाईली अप्रिशिएट कर ची तावे स्मार्ट I give it a great honor and privilege to offer the vote of thanks on this memorable occasion. First of all, let me start by giving glory to Almighty God for making the today's occasion a resounding success. First, at this stage, on behalf of my entire department, I would like to thank our respected Executive General Professor Dr. Fosnur Rahman sir, Principal Professor Dr. Eklasu Rahman sir, uh, Professor Mahfuzur Rahman sir, Dr. Hatikur Rahman sir, face coordinators, uh, other academic dignitaries, and my dear colleagues for their presence and encouraging words for us. In fact, we are privileged and thankful to our respected chairman for his kind <coughs> support in and each and every steps of RFST, Demzi and study to to make the events a success. Finally, we must also give a big thanks to my dear students of the KMC batch day for their sincere and hard work in every steps of RFST and Demzi. At last. We all are also thankful to all good hearts who work behind the screen, especially the supporting staffs of all category of AKMMC for making this program a resounding success. Indeed, once again, thanks to all for your kind presence and cooperation with us. Thank you. Guys, it was all about the program and by the way, it's not a vlog, uh, it's a program related to my college, on the RFST program of my college. So, hope you like this program, hope you like this program, this seminar. And if you like this video, then please do watch the full video, like, comment, share and subscribe. And yeah, don't forget to hit the bell icon. So, see you soon, goodbye, keep supporting, keep loving and stay tuned to the Hey, my father.